Hello Libra, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their true intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Libra 100%. So take what resonates for you, it applies to you. Um, so let's jump into this. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Libra, please, regarding their connection? Now, this reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. For Libra, what's going on in their connection at this time, Spirit? Okay, we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Oh, that's way too many. Can I get one more for Libra? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Or this could also be a past life connection. Okay. an oracle and for some reason i want to get an angel answers <laughs> okay let's see spirit tell me more for libra's connection what insight can you give it can you give us for libra messages <laughs> we got trust all right spirit so spirit is telling me <laughs> that is the message okay let me pull another oracle I'm gonna get an energy oracle card for libra what are the odds yeah spirit is also What are the odds that I get the exact same card? I'm not pulling angel answers for anybody, okay? But for you, I needed to pull one. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this connection. What insight can you give us into this connection that Libra has with this other person? Okay, we got door to value and goddess of the moon. Hmm. It's almost like your intuition is guiding you towards something very valuable. Obviously, I have to order value here, but it's almost like long term. Like I'm thinking of the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm also picking up, you know, the trust is needed because right now you don't see this door. You're not thinking of this door. This door is not... I don't think you're even imagining this door in your mind. It's almost like this is being worked on behind the scenes. Okay, so let's see. We're going to jump into your energies and your person's energies now. I'll start with you. Let me pull an oracle deck from my energy oracle. This is the Seller Energy Oracle. You can grab your own deck. It's listed down in the description box. Spirit, what can you tell me about Libra's energies? Time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. I feel like you have been waiting for a long time or... Um, Time is important here. Maybe this has been a connection that happened a long time ago, or it's been a, a long connection. 
But I feel like it's possibly something that happened in the past because I have the reconciliation card here. Tell me more about Libra. It's like you've been patient. Maybe you're running out of patience, Libra. Because I feel like Spirit is trying to reassure you to have faith. Tell me more, Spirit. About Libra's energies. Is this the animal spirit oracle? Yeah, there's like a nervous energy here. The mouse is um very like anxious, focusing on, you know, trying to be busy. And I feel like spirit wants you to just kind of relax. Like almost like I've got this. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, of course, Libra, I have you on this side. I'll have your person on the other, but you can flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me more for Libra, please. I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Wow, the Ace of Cups. And the star. Beautiful. Aquarius energy with the star. This is about um, abundance, healing, hope, love. All the emotions. <laughs> I think you have your mind set on this person. Maybe you've been with other people, but this is your person. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords Reverse. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. King of Wands Reverse. Interesting. Aries Leo Sagittarius Energy. The sun. I feel like you've been thinking about doing something when it comes to this person, but your fear holds you back. Wow, the ace of wands and then the queen of wands reversed again. So it's almost like you want a new beginning, but you don't have the courage or the you're not bold enough or perhaps you're you're talking yourself out of it it's like you take one step forward and like three steps back maybe um for a small number of you i'm picking up you might have done something that you regret here and so you want to heal this connection in some way why is this star here Capricorn energy with the devil reverse. Nine of wands reverse. Page of pentacles.
nine of wands reverse devil reverse this is someone that's been in a difficult mind mindset or a difficult situation and it's really worn them down this could be somebody that maybe they jumped into something or got caught up in something that they regret or that they're stuck in um And here again, I have like the Page of Pentacles. So it's almost like this is reminding me of the Ace of Wands, like wanting to do something here. Researching, wanting to maybe send a message, reach out, ask them out for coffee or something. <laughs> but it's almost like it's impossible. Like I'm picking up very strange energy here. It's almost like this is someone that thinks that this can only happen in their mind or in their head, or maybe they've given up on this idea. I don't know, something like that. Tell me if that's resonating for you down in the comments. Okay, let's look at your person. Tell me more about this person that Libra is dealing with spirit. Can you tell me about this person? What are their energies? Love letter, message, confession, response, a special message is on its way. So they have something to say and then I have true love at the bottom of the deck. Like what? Strong feelings there. That's very two of cups energy. Tell me more about this person's energies, please. Spirit. Yeah. Tell me more for Libra, please. What are their energies at this time? The whale. Yeah, remember when I said that's a lot of like true love, like um, two of cups energy, a lot of emotions. This is the whale. The whale is someone who has a lot of depth to them. They've learned a lot from their journey through life. And now they have kind of like, a, they're very, like an old soul. Let's see what you can get for your person. This is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. Tell me more about this person that Libra is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. So what do I need to know? Knight of Cups Reverse. Three of Swords. <laughs> Tell me that's not a clear message right there. This person's heartbroken, disappointed. Why is the Knight of Cups Reverse? Emotionally, they're not doing well. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? Ten of Swords. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, it makes sense, right? Why, why they're heartbroken. They've had a difficult ending. This person's having a bad time of it. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse spirit. Oh, there's the Ace of Cups. So you're marrying each other. 
ace of cups on their end, ace of cups on your end. And look, it's like this person's literally swimming in that cup. <laughs> Little tiny person in there. <laughs> it's like this person's really in their feelings here. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups reverse? It's like they want to offer you this really nice big cup, but it's like after, yeah, this is all about new, new love, the fool. Bottom of the deck, I have the three of pentacles. Let's work on this. Let's be a team, you know, because clearly I'm not doing well without you. <laughs> Or I'm not doing well with the way things have happened in this connection or in whatever other situation this person finds themselves in. But they're clearly thinking about new love here when it comes to you. What can you tell me about this Three of Swords? Wow, another ace, the ace of pentacles. Are you kidding me? I feel like I should just stop clarifying, but I'm gonna keep going. Can you get one more please for this three of swords? Emotions run deep here. <laughs> Page of cups. Oh man, it's so funny. <laughs> funny because I'm like emotions run deep and then I put in another cup page of cups which is literally like Mr. Sensitive in the tarot very sensitive energy I'm not saying that you're dealing with a male but in the tarot it's a page who happens to be well he looks like a male but it could be a female anyways forget the gender basically it's somebody that is in their feelings all right, so let's see. What, what is this person thinking or feeling about you? I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is also linked down below. Spirit, what is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra? And it's funny. Like, you have the Page of Pentacles on your end. They have the Page of Cups on their end. It's like you both want to talk to each other. Okay, we have here, I'm working on myself. That one just wanted to fly out. Spirit, what else is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? Okay, I feel trapped. Interesting. Trapped in your feelings? Because I can see that. Please forgive me. <laughs> Aw. Now, some of you, you know, sometimes when I have these readings and I do these readings about people wanting forgiveness and second chances and stuff like that, that's the message. That doesn't mean that you have to forgive this person, that you have to take them back, that you have to forget everything they've done. That's not why these messages come out. This is to tell you the energy as it stands, what's going on in their mind and their heart. You do with that information what you want. All right, so Libra, let's see, where's all of this headed? I'm gonna pull a couple of cards here. Spirit, tell me about where is all of this headed in the near future? For Libra, please. Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Four of Swords reverse, interesting. <laughs> and bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Cups again. So this could be them opening up here, the lines of communication to apologize or express how they feel because clearly they're not, they're heartbroken here. You know, I have the Knight of Cups reverse, the King of Cups reverse. They're very in their feelings here. Now the Hierophant, this is Taurus energy. 
there could be a commitment already on, you know, that exists here. Or um, this could be somebody um, being very traditional by the book, um, wanting to do things right. You know, it could be somebody wanting to take this to the next level. But with the Seven of Swords reverse, I feel like this is someone that's going to get caught doing something they shouldn't be doing. Um, because this trapped situation, I hope it's not that they're trapped in a commitment and they're going to try to sneak away from that. Um, I mean, we'll see, because I'm going to clarify the seven of swords reverse, but it's almost like someone's going to get trapped, not trapped, caught, um, when they do take some sort of action or when they do speak up, um, or perhaps this is them kind of going against the grain here, um. The Seven of Swords reverse, sometimes, sometimes it can mean someone that is trying to not be sneaky or not be deceptive, you know. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel for free. I really appreciate everyone who already takes the time to do that. It really helps the channel grow. And it shows more people these videos so that they can also get some messages. Um, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.